I just pulled onto Sims Street, so they're doing some building right there. But I wanted to show you kind of the drive up. So this is Sims Street, but about 300 feet past that, there's also another way to turn out onto this. But we're heading up to the listing. So you go up this little hill, and it's gonna be up here on the left. Here we are at Symes Road. The driveway up here, you're a little bit further back. So you go up that slope, and then you have this parking area right here with two covered parking spots, and this lower level one as well. So you have a lot of parking here. The area is really beautiful, and the neighbor down there came up and said this is the place to be. He loves this location. You're really close to a lot of great trails, Green Mountain, some of the lakes here, so it's really pretty. The exterior of the house is wood product siding, and then a composite roof again. The garage doors don't look new, but they look to be in good shape. They're not buckled at all or anything. This could use some paint. A really big, pretty front yard, and we can walk up to the front door area. Get a look over there. at Some of the landscaping as well. That's a super cute detail on all of the windows. Let's head on in. Right when we walk in, there is this custom tile work right in front of the front door. And then we have the stairwell to up or down. We'll start upstairs. This is laminate hardwood flooring. I think the tone in it is really pretty. And this very open living room and dining space with a lot of natural light coming in through those windows. So this is a propane fireplace and this is electric heating. So we have those floor vents once again. There is a central AC unit as well, which is not super common because it didn't start getting really hot here until more recently. So walk over to the dining space. You have these French doors out onto the back deck. So we'll go out there as well. And there's that hot tub over there. And a look at the kitchen. So this wine fridge conveys with the house. That's kind of cool. And a very modern farmhouse kind of style. White countertops. Window into the backyard. There's no one behind you which is nice. And then the gas range as well. That's using propane as well, I should say. And then down here in the hallway, you have some storage they're using as a pantry. And then an additional one right here. Off to the left of that, some more custom tile work in this first bathroom. Feels like these are very recent updates in the bathrooms. We'll keep walking. On the right hand side here is the first room. Standard size, not huge, in a standard size closet. But we'll wait till we go downstairs. There's a really big room down there. And then this one that they're using as an office space and gym. Another closet. So this and the other room kind of mirror each other, and they're the same size as well. 
then across from there is what they're using as the master. So these really pretty windows right here. I would do a little bench or seating area. And this is a king size bed. So there's a good amount of space. They still did those nightstands on either side, even with a king. And more custom tile, which is really pretty. Single vanity in the master. And then a fiberglass tub shower insert again. Here's a look at the master closet. Fairly good size. Turn the light on. And we're gonna head out and go down the hallway and down the stairs. Okay, before we head back downstairs, here's another look at the living space. Very high ceilings. I wanted to make sure I got a shot of that and how they have it laid out with that TV mounted over the fireplace. So let's go ahead and go downstairs. Some vinyl tile it looks like down here. And a bathroom slash laundry room down here, which is nice because we'll go over to the other room but there's definitely the potential to make a bedroom down here. Okay, and when we head out there, across from here by the staircase, there is a additional closet. And then to the left of that is the area I was talking about that they've made into another bedroom and has a ton of space. And that cute built-in bench area. This exposed beam is very pretty. And the ceiling gets taller over here. This is facing that front yard space. And then again, built-ins on either side. And then the bedroom area back here. This is a great space in here. Look at the flooring. And we'll head over here, which goes out to the garage. Big workstation, two covered parking spots. You have your water heater right there. more work area over here just a really great um, size deck space that came off with the french doors off the living and dining space this could use some paint as well refinishing but a really awesome space to entertain and grill you have the hot tub over here i'll we'll go around the side of the house as well but wanted to include a shot of this. So I took this separate little walking path to come back here to the side of the yard. There's this additional little shed unit, which is locked. So we can't go inside, but it's there. And then here is a look at the side of the house as well. This one's on septic as well, so they're having that pumped and serviced on the 16th, I believe the listing said, so we'll have some of those documents as well.